What is going on? Everyone welcome to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to talk about an animal that has been featured in some of our videos before. This animal is known for its incredible colors, but its colors aren't always what you see here. This animal is also known for its unique shape-shifting ability. This animal can make itself look like almost anything. And it isn't only this animal's color that makes it so special. It is also one of the most flexible creatures on the planet. But what is it? If you guessed snake, then you'd be right. If you said garter snake, you'd also be right. But there is more to this little guy than meets the eye. He is not your typical garter snake. You see, he is a type of vine snake, and that means he is related to coral snakes. That also means that he is venomous. But don't worry, he won't be able to hurt us unless we step on him or pick him up. So if you ever see one of these guys in the wild, you don't have to be too worried. Just admire their beauty from afar. This little guy is called an Asian vine snake, and even though he looks really cool, he is still an endangered species. Even though they aren't very dangerous, they are getting rarer and rarer each day. In today's video, we will learn all about them and how they get their food. We will also learn about how they stay safe from predators. But first, let's talk about what they look like. They are medium-sized snakes, usually growing to around two feet long, but they can grow much larger. They are also incredibly thin, which allows them to slip into tiny spaces. They have big, bulging eyes that help them see well in the daytime. And they have small, flexible jaws that allow them to eat prey that is wider than their heads. These guys can be found in many different places, but they prefer to live in rainforests. They like to climb up tall trees and shrubs where they can find lots of bugs to eat. So why are these guys so colorful? Well, it's because they're poisonous. Their bright colors warn predators that they're not worth eating. And it works pretty well too. Not many animals are willing to take the risk of eating a brightly colored snake. But sometimes a predator will try anyway. And when that happens, the snake spits out venom from its mouth. The venom is super strong and can kill a predator quickly. But even though they are venomous, people still catch them and keep them as pets. This is probably because they're so beautiful. I mean, just look at this guy. How could you not want to keep him as a pet? But these guys aren't easy to take care of. They need lots of space, and they need to be fed live food. Because of this, most people end up releasing them back into the wild after a while. These snakes are also really good at climbing. They have special scales on their bellies that help them grip onto things as they climb. And they also have really strong tails that they use to whip around and balance themselves. Because of this, they can climb up really tall trees without any problems. And they do this all day long. They just love to climb. And now that we know all about how these guys live, let's talk about what they eat. Like I said before, they like to eat bugs, but they'll also eat other small animals like lizards and frogs. Sometimes they'll even eat other snakes. They don't really care what they eat, as long as it's small enough. But they're not very picky eaters. They'll eat whatever they can find. When they eat, they use their flexible jaws to swallow their food whole. After they swallow their food, they use their strong muscles to push the food down their throats. And once the food is inside their stomachs, they secrete digestive juices that break the food down. And that's how they digest their food. Now, let's talk about how they stay safe from predators. As I said before, their bright colors help keep predators away, but they also have another trick. When they feel threatened, they play dead. This is called thanatosis, and it's a really effective defense mechanism. When they play dead, they roll over on their backs and stay still until the predator goes away. Most predators aren't interested in eating a dead animal, so it works pretty well. Okay, so I bet you want to know how these guys hunt now, right? Well, they don't really hunt. They just wait for their food to come to them. They basically sit on a leaf or a twig and wait for an insect to crawl by. When an insect crawls by, they snatch it up and eat it. It's really not that complicated. I am sure you've then noticed by now that these guys are really good at blending in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage, and it helps them hide from predators and sneak up on their food. The reason why they can change their colors is because they have special cells in their skin called chromatophores. These cells contain pigments that can reflect light. By controlling how the light reflects off of their skin, they can change their colors. 
They can also move these cells around, which allows them to change the pattern on their skin. For example, they can make themselves look striped or spotted. So now you know how they hunt and how they stay safe from predators. So let's talk about how they reproduce. Male vine snakes usually have bright colors, while the females are usually more muted. This is probably to attract mates. The males will often compete for the right to mate with a female. They will do things like shake their bodies and hiss at each other to intimidate the other males. Once a male is chosen, he will mate with the female. The female will then give birth to live young. She doesn't lay eggs. The babies will stay with their mother until they are old enough to fend for themselves. Now, I bet you want to know how they got their name, right? Well, it's because they like to hang out on vines. They often curl up on a vine and take a nap. They also use the vines to help them climb. The vines provide them with support as they climb up tall trees. They can grab onto the vines with their claws and pull themselves up. This allows them to get to the top of the tree really quickly. As I said before, these guys are really good at changing their colors. They can do this for a number of reasons, but one of the main ones is to communicate. For example, they might change colors when they're feeling threatened or when they want to attract a mate. They can also change colors to blend in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage, and it helps them hide from predators and sneak up on their food. But you probably want to know how long these guys live, right? Well, unfortunately, we don't know exactly how long they live in the wild. However, we do know that they can live up to eight years in captivity. So it's possible that they live a similar amount of time in the wild? Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed learning all about the Asian vine snake. These guys are really fascinating to me. I mean, they're so colorful and they can change their colors. That's just wild to me. But what about you? What did you think of the Asian vine snake? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See ya.